Activist and John Lennon's widow, 90-year-old Yoko Ono, has decided to move from her exclusive Dakota home in New York to spend the rest of her life on the 600-acre rural farm she bought with the former Beatle in 1978. According to the Daily Mail, Yoko has been living full-time on her expansive Catskills farm close to Franklin, New York, during the pandemic, with no intention of moving back to her Upper West Side home. Ono plants his own veggies outside the estate's four-bedroom, two-bathroom main house. According to insiders, the artist currently resides in a small community with only 340 people, leading a quiet life away from the spotlight. Ono and Lennon had originally bought the farm to grow Holstein dairy cattle and use it as a retreat. According to Philip Norman's book, John Lennon, The Life, the British singer once purchased 10 bulls and 122 cows for his farm. When Sean Ono and his mother Yoko Ono protested fracking in New York in 2013, the farm became entangled in controversy. Geologists predict that the Marcellus Shale, where the property is situated, holds trillions of cubic feet of natural gas. Yoko is confined to a wheelchair, and her health has deteriorated in recent years. But despite this, she recently revealed that she walked six kilometers to overcome depression. The song Now and Then was composed by John Lennon and performed in the 1970s at his Dakota, New York City. Paul McCartney received a preliminary recording of John Lennon's voice on a counterfeit tape from his wife Yoko Ono in 1994. John Lennon. Yoko Ono is now relieved that John Lennon's song has been well received by his followers.